Hey, this is Nathan with the FSW Writing Center, which is a tutoring service where you can receive writing advice in a one-on-one -on -one consultation with an instructional assistant like me. Today, I will be providing a brief tutorial on how to set up a document in MOA style using Microsoft Word. So the first thing that I want to point out in this tutorial is how to access Microsoft Word. If you don't already have Word installed on your computer, you actually have free access to Word and all other Office apps through FSW. When you log into your portal, you'll see a screen that looks like this. If you scroll down, on the right hand side you'll see a header labeled Apps for Students. Directly below that is a link to Office 365. Once you click on that, you'll see online versions of all of the Office apps available to you, including Microsoft Word. You can click here to get started, or you can go to this drop-down menu labeled Install Office, click on it, and click Office 365 apps to download Word and all other apps directly to your PC or Mac. So now that you know how to access Word, let's take a look at how we're going to set this document up using the visual format basics of MLA style. The font we'll be using is Times New Roman, and we'll set the font size to 12 point. We'll have double spacing throughout the entire document, one inch margins on all sides of each page, and at the beginning of every paragraph, we're going to indent half an inch. Here's an example of what the first page of an MLA style essay looks like. In this tutorial, we will include the four elements that go in the upper left corner of your first page. Your name, your professor's name, the course, and the date. Below that, we will include a centered title before starting our first paragraph with a half inch indent. Also, we will insert page numbers in the header on the right side of every page. And before the page number, you will include your last name. Finally, we'll look at how to use hanging indentation for the entries on the works cited page. Let's open up Word and get started. When you open Microsoft Word, click New and open a blank document template. We'll start by changing our font. So go to the font drop down menu here, scroll until you see Times New Roman, and click on it. Next, we'll adjust our font size to 12 points. So click on the font size box, scroll to 12, and click on it. Now let's make sure that our line spacing is double. We can do this by clicking on the paragraph settings here. You'll notice on the right side at the bottom, line spacing, we can choose double. But we also want to make sure that we have our spacing before and after at zero points, and that we check this box below that says don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. This ensures that there's no extra space uh, anytime that we press enter. You could set this as your default as well to make sure that you always have perfect double spacing on any of your documents. Next, let's make sure that our margins are at one inch on all sides of the document. To do this, we'll click on the Layout tab and go to Adjust Margins here. You can see that typically the default is one inch margins on all sides, but it's always a good idea to double check and make sure that it's set up properly. Next, let's include the four elements that go in the upper left corner of any MLA style essay, starting with your name. Press enter to go to the next line and type out your professor's name. Below that, we will include the course. And after that, type out the date the assignment is due. You'll notice that the date is structured day, month, year. Press enter to go to the next line and we're going to make sure our alignment is centered here because this is where our title will go. For now, I'm just gonna type out title, but don't forget to replace that with your actual title. Press enter again and make sure to align the text to the left. Here's where we'll start our paragraph and at the beginning of every paragraph, we make sure to have a half inch indent by pressing tab. Now let's add page numbers to the top of every page. Go to the insert tab 
and in the header and footer section, choose page number. This is going to add page numbers to the top of every page in your document. Go to top of page and select plane number three because it's the right aligned page number. Now all you need to do is add your last name before the page number and include a space in between. You may notice this is a different font than Times New Roman. That's because when you create page numbers, it reverts back to the default font. All you need to do is change it to Times New Roman and set the size to 12. To leave the header, double click anywhere on the document outside of the header. Lastly, we'll talk about hanging indentation on the Works Cited page. The Works Cited is the last page of any MLA research essay that lists all sources used in the essay. I won't get into the details about how to cite sources using MLA style here, but if you're interested, there will be a link to a video dedicated to MLA style at the end of this video. For now, I want to talk about hanging indentation, which is indenting all subsequent lines after the first line of a source by half an inch. To use hanging indentation on your works cited in Microsoft Word, click, hold, and drag your cursor over all your sources to select them. Then go to the paragraph settings. From here, under the special section, choose hanging. It's already set to half an inch, so click OK, and it's that easy. All your sources are now properly indented. When you finish making changes to your document and you'd like to save it, you can go to File and choose Save As. Then you can browse folders on your computer and decide where you'd like to store the document. And you can name your file as well here. Click save, and now the document has been stored in that folder on your computer. So this has been a brief tutorial on how to set up a document in MLA style using Microsoft Word. This is only a small example of the kind of assistance you can receive when using the Writing Center. Instructional assistants in the Writing Center are available to help you at any stage in the writing process, whether it's brainstorming, preparing an outline, forming your thesis statement, structuring your body paragraphs, correcting grammatical errors, uh, formatting and citing your sources. If it's writing related, we could help you with it. There are two ways that students can connect with us. You can have a one-on-one -on -one live tutoring session with one of our instructional assistants through Zoom, or you can drop your essay off via email. To access either option and learn more about the process and our hours of operation, visit our website at www.fsw.edu slash academic support. Thank you, and we hope to hear from you soon.